Welcome to my lecture online. Our next example about the moment of inertia is the punching press. In this particular case, the punching press is, gets its energy from a flywheel. So there's stored kinetic energy from the rotational motion of the flywheel. When it does a punch, it takes some of the energy out of the flywheel, and then the motor gets the flywheel spinning back to its original angular velocity. So in this way, you can just make a punch after punch after punch. Each time the energy comes out of the flywheel, and then the motor puts the energy back in. So the motor doesn't need to be as strong in order to provide the momentary energy for each punch. So in this case, we have a flywheel that has a moment of inertia of 15 kilogram meters squared, initial angular velocity of 300 RPMs, which is about 10 pi radians per second, and a single punch requires 4,500 newton meters, or joules, of work. So now the question is, when it makes a punch, what will be the final angular velocity after a single punch? And then we'll have a part two to that, that we have to calculate how much power or work is required to get it back up to its original velocity. So let's try this. We probably want to use the energy conservation equation, so work plus initial potential energy plus initial kinetic energy equals potential energy final plus kinetic energy final plus energy lost. And in this case, the energy lost will be the actual punch. All right, any work put into the system, that will be zero. Since we have a flywheel which is rotating horizontally, there's no change in height, so that would be zero. Plus, the initial kinetic energy will be one half I omega initial squared. There's only rotational kinetic energy because the flywheel doesn't go anywhere. There's no translational motion. Potential energy final is zero. Kinetic energy final would be one half I omega final squared plus the energy lost will be the 4,500 joules required for a single punch. So now what we're looking for is we're looking for omega final, which is this right here. So let's isolate that equation. So we end up with one half uh, I omega final squared equals one half I omega initial squared minus the 4,500 joules required for the punch. Then I think I'm going to multiply everything by two and divide everything by I. If we do that, let's see here, what, we, what do we get? Yeah. So uh, multiply everything by two and divide everything by I, we get omega final squared is equal to so that becomes 1, that becomes I divided by I, so it would be omega initial squared minus 2 times 4,500 is 9,000, and then divide by the moment of inertia, which is I. And then finally, when we take the square root of both sides, omega final equals the square root of omega initial minus 9,000 divided by I. So now let's go ahead and plug in what these are. And of course, we want to use standard units. So in this case, omega final is equal to the square root of omega initial, which is 10 pi radians per second, so 10 pi. And you know what? I think what I should do is put a square there because we have omega final squared equals omega initial squared, so I forgot to square. So here we need to square that, and that would be minus 9,000 divided by i, so that would be 9,000 divided by i, which in this case is 15. All right, let's see what that is equal to. 10 times pi. Now we're going to square that, and we're going to subtract from that 9,000 divided by 15, which is 600. And so we get 386.96. That's basically the square root of 387. So let's see what that is equal to. So take the square root of that, that's 19.67 radians per second, 19.67 radians per second. And then so we can compare it to our original value, let's then put that into pi radians per second. So divide by pi is at 6.26, so this is equal to 6.26 pi radians per second. So notice that it went, the speed is then reduced from 10 pi radians per second down to 6.26 pi radians per second. And then, of course, the flywheel then needs to get back, put back up to its original speed before the press can do 
another punch. And so that's how that particular uh, punch press works. And that is how it's done.